Hi, Dale Labaracta here, your favorite balloon entertainer. And today, I'm going to make a clown. Now, if you grew up in the Chicago land area, you were familiar with Bozo. And that is going to be my color scheme for this clown. He's going to have red feet, blue body. He's going to actually have a slightly different color ruffle. Going to go with the yellow. And then he's going to have the traditional white face with the red hair and the red nose. So to start off, we're going to need a couple balloons. We're going to need a blue 260, a light blue 260, a golden rod, a red balloon, and a white balloon. These are all 260 balloons, and I want one red 350 balloon that we're going to use for the legs. So let's get started. Now the body structure is really easy. What we're going to do is inflate a blue balloon three quarters of the way, maybe a little farther, and all we're going to do is tie this off into a loop. We are then going to half it by folding it. I usually put my finger in there, slide it up. That shows me where the half is. Take it, twist. So we now have a half balloon. What we're going to do is find the halfway mark, and then we're going to go up a little higher than halfway. So it's about the three-quarter mark. What we want to do is spin it again so we get a figure eight. What we're going to do is take this part and bring it in through this loop section right here. This is a quick, fast body style that has been around for decades. Simple to do. It's a balloon looped inside of a balloon. These are going to be the arms. These are going to be the legs. Now, we're going to take our 350 balloon. I'm going to set this off to the side. Take my 350 balloon, and I am going to bend it and create a big fold twist. This is going to be one foot followed by a bubble which is going to be a pinch twist, which this is the heel of the foot, followed by another fold twist, which is going to be identical size to this foot. So the, the feet are the same size. I'm going to break and tie off. And I'm going to wrap this around a little. Now I have my feet. Looks like a big bow tie. But what we're going to actually do now is make Bozo's feet. I like clowns having big feet because that's what a clown is. It is funny. It's exciting. Here you go. You have the clown with the big feet. Look at that. It balances perfectly on my hands. Oh, yeah. My hands. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do is now continue with the clown process. I'm going to take the clown, set it to the side. And at this moment, I'm going to use my white balloon. Now, this is a head design that I've shown for decades on my website. Uh, I, I give step-by-step -step instructions. It is not hard. One bubble, which is going to be a pinch twist. That is one ear. This is how I remember this. Ear, cheek, nose, ear, cheek, back of the head. All right? So we're not going to have a nose per se, but we're going to have an ear. This is going to be the cheek, which is about three fingers. We're leaving a space. That's where the nose is going to be. Now I measure. Going to find another bubble. That's the other side of the cheek. Followed by a bubble, which now is going to be pinch twist. And make sure that you do hold everything, because if you don't, it's going to unspin. So it's pinch twist, three finger bubble, spacer, or space, three finger bubble, pinch twist. Now, this is the back of the head, so I want a space which is going to be almost six, seven fingers. That is the front. This is going ear. It's this ear, cheek, nose, cheek, ear. That's how I remember it. Now, you can do a couple different ways. You can do the bottom of the mouth. You do the top of the head. Now here comes a specific maneuver that I've been doing for decades. I'm going to find the approximate halfway spot right here, which is really right about here. So if I look, I want to take my bubble, which is approximately the halfway spot, and then make another bubble and turn that into a pinch twist. So I'm going to get this on the back of the head. Now you may be wondering, Dale, why are we doing something so strange like this? I'm going to take this, insert it into here, and that's going to give me, I got to turn my lights down because we're working with white. 
you can see that we have now this white this is where the nose is going to go this is going to give me a spot to help tie the eyes on and then i'm going to be able to put the hair and everything else back here so do me a favor at this moment if you haven't subscribed to my channel please take the moment out to subscribe now i want to take put a bubble and this bubble right here is what i'm going to insert right in between here so just kind of slide it in between the body bring it up wrap it around this is where i punch pinch twist whoop this is where i whoop no we don't whoops no whoops and balloons whoops i did it again no not really i know if you stayed to the end you could definitely leave me a comment so here's the head now i'm going to make sure his head doesn't fall off wrap that around his head spins around you spin me right around baby i know you didn't ask for singing on this video you said dale just give me a clown and like anything else wow everything seems to be going a little crazy today there we go so now at this point i'm actually going to put the ruffles and we're going to get everything adjusted here at the very end so it looks smooth and nice now to do the ruffles what i'm going to do is take a golden rod i'm going to do a series of five bubbles or a string of pearls so it's one and this is actually a scrap one of the few times you're seeing me use a scrap one and when i do these i'm going to make sure i do at least three to six twists one two three four five and you're like yay he knows how to count to five no really i do five with a lot of spins in between i don't do three spins i do about six to eight spins in between this guarantees that this stays locked now what i'm going to do now is take this little hoop go right around his neck this is his big collar i'm just going to tie a knot i'm tying this so it's a circle of beads around his neck double knot it you hear anybody say double knot that's all we're doing is tying two knots in a row and nothing fancy here it's just like woo two knots woo there you go have to do a little shaping here to get his body to conform properly now at this point i'm going to take that scrap balloon if you have any scrap balloon or the white balloon or have a scrap white balloon we're going to do the hands all i'm going to do is blow some air into a balloon all right i'm going to take and do a pinch twist these are going to be the hands all i'm doing is two pinch twists two bubbles with two pinch twists you could actually make a bubble and split the bubble if you wanted to i like to do two pinch twists crack this off ah there we go have to sharpen this nail now this is the hands the hands go in this little excess wrapped around we have the hands we got the collar now we have to put the hair on and the nose and the eyes and this clown is almost done now to do my hair i do my hair like Krusty the Clown. Krusty the Clown's got more bumps in his hair instead of trying to do this curved texture like Bozo actually had. Bozo actually had a curved hair that went around a bald head. I still keep the bald head, but I do more of a crusty style. And how I do that is I take a bubble and I'm gonna do a series of three bubbles, all the same size, and I'm gonna lock and spin around the nozzle. So if I was doing like a poodle's head, this would be the three bubbles for the poodle head that get twisted together. And then you'd have the little head that would come through here and you're like that, but that's a poodle's head, but we're not doing that. This is going to be where I lock into the ear. So I spin that right around. Now I'm gonna bring this down, move back a little so you can see. I'm gonna take this portion right here and bring it back to the other side. So this is the hair that's on the back of the head. 
and it's attached to the other ear, which just disappeared. Oh no! But here's a trick. I'm gonna steal a little from the head. Oh, I'm fighting a leak here, folks. I have a dreaded leak. No! All right, hang on. Don't look, Ethel! Too late, she looked. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Hang on. We'll edit this out. You guys will never see this. I'll do a cut and it'll be like, woo, look at this. Oh no, he lost his head, no! All right, let's put his head back on here, folks. Good as new. Look at that. There we go. Back to where we were. Now, taking this under one earlobe, going back to the other side, making three bubbles, and going to wrap that in around the ear now you do two things if you want to come back a second time you can which is no problem come back wrap around break off i want to make sure i save this because that's going to be the nose section still hanging on to this and set this off to the side Hopefully left a comment, but folks, this is the time. If you haven't done so, become a subscriber. I stream live on Fridays. You can see me on Fridays, I stream live. It's similar to this. You see the craziness, the chaos, and all this fun stuff actually happening. So do me a favor. I'm gonna turn my light up here a little. Oh, look at that, I'm now brighter again. So, I have a nose. World's smallest balloon. No, what we're gonna do is take this nose and put it in right into that crease. Wrap it in. You can make a big bulbous nose if you want. I have a tendency to like the smaller nose. And the last thing I'm gonna do is give Bozo blue eyes. And what I'm going to do is make a bubble, followed by another bubble. So I get two bubbles side by side. Wrap the nozzle through. So in reality, I have this. And what I'm gonna do is break off. Again, tie a knot just to make sure that nothing does leak. Now, remember where we have that pinch twist inside the back of this head right in here? Oh no, I'm showing you inside of a clown's brain. All right, what we're gonna do is take the this and wrap it around this nozzle right in here, so. I'm using this excess blue to wrap around that pinch twist, which is part of the head that goes through. I can adjust the ears for the hair and bury it underneath the table. I did it. All right, now, eyes are nothing more than something simple. Thank you for staying to the very end. I love when you folks stay to the very end. You get to see the finished product. Here we go, this is just my version if you want to call him Bozo, if you want to call him a clown. Here we go. This is the clown, the finished product. As you can tell, you can see the back end. Nice finished balloon clown that all the kids love. Parents are impressed with. Easy to do. I've been doing them in line twisting for decades. So enjoy this. Do me a favor, subscribe. Become one of my followers. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. You be safe, healthy, and wise. Bye-bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.